What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Kevin with Hidden Heights Farm. And today I'm going to talk about a box I received in the mail of a bunch of goodies. Uh, most of it's from Amazon. Um, first of all, I ordered some seeds. There's a few seeds uh, I wanted to try that I haven't tried before. I've been seeing a lot of people on some homesteading groups that I'm a member of on Facebook talk about a pepper called Sugar Rush Peach Pepper. Um, I'll try to post a picture of them. I've never grew them before, but they look amazing and the reviews off of uh, YouTube that I have seen over these peppers, people seem to really love them. Uh, Sugar Rush Peach Pepper and they're supposed to be very sweet but the heat is supposed to be between a jalapeno and a habanero, somewhere in between there. Uh, I'm really excited to try them. I've been wanting to get seeds for like a month, and they've been sold out everywhere online that I've looked. <clears throat> I finally found them from a company that had them in stock online called Trade Winds Fruit, in case anyone wants to try them. You can probably Google that name. I don't, I don't know the URL for it, but anyways... I'm really excited to try those and while I was browsing their website I seen another tomato that I have never seen or heard of it's called the Ace 55 tomato um, on here it says originally developed decades ago by the Campbell Soup Company uh, it's supposed to be crack resistant supposed to be bright red uh, I'm sure they probably raise this genetic of tomato to be better in soups but eh, it's more of something just to try for me and then one of my favorites that I usually buy is just the plants from a local place that uh, sells starter plants sun sugar tomatoes these are the little little bigger than grape tomatoes and they're the yellow they're supposed to have a lot lower acid than your normal uh, like red tomatoes but man they're really sweet my kids love them the plants always do really well so I was glad to see that they carry these seeds and stuff and these are are all from the same company so I'm pretty excited to get it started but <clears throat> I've always started seeds here in my shop um, I don't grow every vegetable that we grow in our garden from seeds um, a lot of times it's easier just to buy the plants uh, and just buy the starter plants and plant them and get them going you know kind of know what you're getting um, I've always used this light here this is a high pressure sodium light this little setup uh, this is a hundred and fifty watt grow light fixture has a fan attached to it this light gets pretty hot so the bulbs are pretty expensive on these and they do pull a little more electric than what I really like but uh this year, I did some research and I'm going to try something out. Uh, been looking at some other people's channels on YouTube and such, and on some of the homestead groups that I'm a member of on Facebook. And some people like going to these LED grow lights. Uh, this one here was 24 bucks on Amazon. It's 45 watts. I imagine the LEDs don't produce the light that a high pressure sodium will. Um, this has 225 LEDs, 45 watt. I'm really eager to see if they really work as good as the high pressure sodium lights. But uh, we'll give it a shot. Worth a try. Um, it was 24 bucks, so. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be out my seeds and the cost of the grow light, I guess. But it's worth a shot. <clears throat> Alright. So, it has four hanging points on it. Hopefully you can see that. And on the recommendation on Amazon that they recommend you buy with that was these ratchet hangers. 
So you see this table I got here. I built this table. It's an aluminum frame on some casters. Um, I'm going to build up a frame this evening. And I'm going to hang these ratchet hangers off the frame. That way, with these ratchet hangers, I'm able to adjust the height of my light. I'm not real sure. I need to do a little more research and see how high I need to have this above the plants. Um, something else I got that I thought was pretty cool. These were super cheap. These little plant containers for starting seeds in. So you got your, your tray and you got your actual containers and you fit down in your tray to hold water and then they even come with some little seed labels or plant labels and the cover. That's pretty cool. And this actually has an adjustable vent on the top. So that way I keep my seeds separated. I figured out was pretty good. I think I got like eight in a package and I think it was like seven bucks. So not too bad. And let's see this. I went ahead and ordered a bag of black gold seedling mix. I think it was eight bucks for eight quarts. So we'll give that a shot. I'm not going to do a lot of seeds this year. I'll probably, well, start seeds in my shop anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll plant more seeds in the garden straight into the ground, like squash and stuff like that. And another thing I had, I've already had this. This is a heat mat for starting seeds on. Place this underneath your trays and it warms up the, the soil or the potting mix that you put in your containers. Gives them a little bit of a head start. Gets the temperature of the dirt to where it needs to be and then the light does its job. So, pretty pumped to get this started. It's like the second week, third week of January. Um, it's a little early, but I'll figure if these seeds do good, I'll just uh, raise the plants in here until the frost danger is out of the way and then transplant them into the ground, into my garden, and go from there. But I'm going to get started on this frame for this table and then I will hang the light and go from there. Alright guys, I got some of my supplies and tools laid out to start this build for this frame. I'm not sure how high above the, the seeds that the light needs to be. Um, so I'm going to build it an extra little taller than what I think because I also... I'm starting these in the middle of January, so I've got a couple months before it's going to be safe to put these outside in the actual garden uh, to keep them away from the frost. So I'm going to try to mount this frame a little higher, and since I got the adjustable hangers, I'm going to adjust it to the growth of the plants. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it for now, so I'm going to do it that way. Um, I'm going to get my measurements and start cutting and screwing some boards down. Okay, I just thought I was about done with the frame. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this eye bolt through. Uh, the hanger system that the light comes with has the four hooks that goes to a single point. So I'm just going to bolt one single eye bolt up. And I'm going to scoot it to one side. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to leave room for my high pressure sodium light and if it does work I'm going to leave room for another one of these LED lights in the future if I want to use two to expand the space I can grow more at once but um, I'll drill this hole
Let's see how this ratchet hanger works. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, so it came with a little card here that kind of explains a little bit about it. It says the covering area is max 3x3 three three feet, 2 foot height. So I guess two foot is as high as you want to be above your plants or your uh, seedlings. It's suggested distance, one to two foot, ideal distance for seedlings is six to ten inches. The light fixture itself does not get hot or burn your plants. And then here on the back it says red and blue classical wavelength is suitable for all stages of plant growth. So what it's talking about is it has the red and the blue bulbs. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Most of the seeds are germinated and sprouting within two weeks. We'll see if it holds up to what they say. Alright, I guess I'll uh, get some of this stuff out of the way and I'll start uh, planting some seeds. Okay guys, so I got my frame done. I got my light hung, the LED lights. It said it didn't really put off heat, but I do feel a little bit of heat that it's putting off, but not much. So basically at 45 watts compared to the high pressure sodium at 150 watts, it's going to be a little better on the electric bill anyways. But we'll see how well it works. The high pressure sodium light works really well. Um, I've got my containers here. I've got my, my uh, potting soil and my seeds and some water. I'm going to start filling some of these containers and um, getting the seeds planted. So this heat mat I have, I got, went ahead and plugged it in. It's starting to warm up a little bit. So I stored it for a year or two and I had it rolled up and put away in a cabinet. And I don't recommend doing that if you have one because now I don't want to lay down flat. So I got mine kind of gorilla taped, which isn't sticking to this plywood real good. But I think it'll warm up, hopefully put a little weight on it and it should go back to its flat shape, I hope. So anyways, here's the container. These are water tight, so put your these containers in this tray. You should be good from having a mess. Use this one for water. I'm really excited to try these Sugar Rush peach peppers. If you get time, uh, you might search in YouTube if you're interested. And look at some of the reviews people done over them. I like hot peppers just as good as anyone else. I can go to about a habanero without it really bothering me too bad. Anything above that's just crazy where it just hurts your tongue. So if they are like what people say in between a jalapeno and a habanero, that'd be sweet. And they say they're a really sweet pepper, so... They said the sweetness kind of takes away from the heat a little bit, so I'm really eager to try. Alright guys, so I read the instructions and you're actually supposed to plant the seeds first and then lightly mist them with a spray bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and plant the seeds. I'm going to start with the Sugar Rush Peach Peppers.
It says there's ten, 10 seeds per package. Let's see how deep it says to put these. Plant seeds a quarter inch to a half inch deep. I'm not sure about this soil. It's really fibrous. It has a lot of peat in it, it looks like. I'm just going to plant one per slot in each tray. Hopefully they all germinate. I'm really excited to try these peppers. They look amazing. And I got three left. So they actually gave me about 15 seeds instead of 10, which is good. I'll go ahead and plant all of them. If I get extra plants, then I'll give some away. Alright. Let me put some tags on there before I forget. Alright, so the next I'm going to do the Sun Sugar Tomatoes. I'm going to wait on these Ace 55 Campbell Soup Tomatoes. I did that. I bought them more because I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'm really, I know that the sugar, Sun Sugar Tomatoes are awesome. So I want to plant the rest of the containers I got with these for now. It says 10 seeds per, wow these are tiny. Very tiny. See if you all can see these. Really little. Like I said, they are like a grape tomato, so they're going to be small fruit, but or vegetables. See how deep it says to plant these. Quarter inch to half inch. So this year in my garden as a kind of a cover crop I planted turnips. I really like raw turnips but man you can only eat so many. I've still got a lot left. A lot of them probably go to the goats. <clears throat> I'll probably pick them and feed them to the goats before I till the garden in here pretty quick. I'm just going to plant one seed per container slot on the sun sugar tomatoes as well. Hopefully I got good germination rates. Got two seeds left. I'll go ahead and just plant. an additional in the corner. It 
So this the seed potting mix soil that I purchased off Amazon says to lightly spray the soil after you plant the seeds and cover. So we'll see. Works a heck of a lot better than that cup I was using. Yeah, it looks way better like that. Okay guys, so that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to cover on this grow light from Amazon. I've never tried the LED light. I've heard good and bad about them. People say they do work for germination. Um, I'm going to lower it. It said 6 to 10 inches was recommended on the paper that came with this. I'm not going to leave this here, I'm going to move it because it's right in the way of my ranger. But anyway, for this video, I'll leave it here. So anyways, I'll uh, keep you guys updated on the growth. I'll do daily checks on here. And as soon as I see these things start germinating, I will make another video and update you guys. Hopefully they're going to germinate. We'll see. If not, then I might have to give this light a bad review on Amazon. Um, the containers... So far they seem like they're going to work great. Forgot to put these on. Still going to put these on there. I'm not sure how to do it with the... Okay. Well that's cool. I do like these containers. I will be leaving them a positive review for the container. They had a good price and they're pretty durable. And right now I am going to leave the vents fully closed so I can trap all that heat in there. And I will check them daily for moisture. Alright guys, if you get a chance, like I said, go to YouTube and search Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. And uh, look at some of the reviews that people did over them and tell me what you guys think. They look amazing to me and they sound like they'd be really cool for my own liking. But thanks for watching this video. Hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel. This is what the grow light looks like in the dark. Pretty cool.